Hey everybody, it's Jania and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time hearing about me, thank you so much for watching this video and I would really appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. Please do not be a silent viewer. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite authors, particularly my top five. I have five authors today that I want to talk about and all of them write vastly different types of genres so I'm really excited for you guys to see some of my favorite authors and hopefully you can relate in some capacity. The order of the list is kind of interchangeable. Number one is definitely like solid but the other four um, I kind of place them anywhere in that top five. So the first author I have is Colleen Hoover, who is the author of Layla, but she has written so many different books, Ugly Love, November 9, All Your Perfects, It Ends With Us, just so many. And she typically writes young adult, new adult, and like adult romance um, that you would normally all do with very heavy topics of abuse and sometimes sexual assault. Um, so she's kind of covers a bunch of different really heavy topics in her books. Um, I have not read this one in particular. I know this is her newest release and it's a psychological thriller, um, which is a little different than other books that she has written. Um, but I'm really excited to read more of her. I've read, I think, 11 of her books, definitely some of her most popular ones, and I've enjoyed all of them. Um, there's never been a Colleen Hoover book that I haven't enjoyed. Um, I understand that she can be a very triggering author as far as the content that she does write, but um, I think it's more of a personal preference. Um, I really do enjoy reading her books and I would like to know if any of you guys have read any of her books as well. And if so, what books have you read? And what books did you like and which ones you didn't like? <laughs> the fourth author on my list, or in this case the second author I'm going to mention, is Ruta Sepetys. She is um, a historical fiction writer, normally writes YA. Um, and this is her first and probably her most popular book, Between Shades of Grey, and it follows a family who has been kind of taken from their home in Lithuania and put in Soviet, like, concentration camps. And it was really, really tragic when I read this book. Um, I still remember so many details about it two years after I've read it. It is just so phenomenal. All of her writing is just top tier. Historical fiction is one of my favorite genres, so I really enjoy um, reading all about her characters and the time in history that she chooses to focus on. I believe two of her novels are more, two of her novels are set more during World War II. Um, she has one that's kind of set in the 1950s here in the United States in New Orleans and her newest book The Fountains of Silence is set I believe in Spain during a uh, civil war. So I love just how vastly she writes as far as like the time rate, the timelines in history. So I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I definitely think everybody should pick up this book, even if you're not a historical fiction fan. This is really well done and it's just so beautiful and so lyrical. So I highly recommend picking this up. It's really the reason why she is my favorite author because she does historical fiction just so phenomenally well. The next author I want to talk about is probably an author that a lot of people would say is one of their favorites, probably in the top five or top three. And that is none other than Jennifer L. Armentrout, who is the author of the Lux series. Um, she is also the author of, of From Blood and Ash, I believe is the title. She's written just countless, countless other books. Um, she writes in YA, she writes in new adult, she writes in adult. She is really such a diverse writer as far as like the genres that she writes within. Um, but most of the time it's always fantasy with romance and sometimes paranormal at least that's what obsidian is it's more of a paranormal romance if i could describe her writing in one word it would be addictive absolutely addictive i cannot stop reading anything that she writes she's pretty much kind of an auto buy author for me i will read anything that she writes now i haven't read all of her books i definitely would like to um i read the entirety of the Lux series and i just about fell over with just tears and love for all of the characters and everything about the series. I really think that if you don't have uh, Jay Lynn as one of your favorite authors, you definitely should check it out. The second author on my top five favorite authors list is none other than Elizabeth Acevedo, who is the author of The Poet X, 
With the Fire on High and her newest book Clap When You Land. I have read all three and I love all three. I will say With the Fire on High is probably my favorite one because I connect to it the most but the Poet X is no exception. It is absolutely beautiful. It is written in verse and it tells the story of a young teenage girl. She lives in Harlem and she has a really strong connection with writing and she begins writing her own poetry and her own poems as a form of dealing with her very abusive mother. Um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I mentioned but it's art. It's written in verse and it's just absolutely beautiful. I know novels that are written in verse could seem and read a lot like poetry and that may turn a lot of people off but Elizabeth Acevedo m makes reading it just so eloquent and so beautiful and so easy and she finds a way to kind of make the words that she uses her diction and her dialogue just so powerful she finds a way to really string along all of these individual poems together to make one big conclusive story and it's done so well um, i just really really enjoy that she writes a lot of contemporary why contemporary specifically that deals with really important topics you know this book follows a a young afro latina girl that is being abused by her mom and she finds poetry as an outlet she deals with a lot of emotions and she works to really show the the flawed side of her characters and to make them more real and that's what i really personally enjoy um as a latina woman myself i really do identify with what she writes and the feelings that she conveys when she writes her characters it's just so important to me and i love everything about her writing it is just so delectable and scrumptious the final author on my top five favorite authors list is my favorite author of all time there is no negotiating they are at the top and that's where they are going to stay and that author is Anna Marie McLemore who has written countless books but this is their first one The Weight of Feathers and I cannot express my love for Anna Marie McLemore and their writing with any words really the only thing I could say is that it is absolutely beautiful it is lyrical it is so gorgeous and eloquent and it is so powerful the way that they use words to write their stories and to really bring so much Spanish roots and connections into each of their stories. I really enjoy the worlds that they create and how well they're able to establish them. And I love the genre that they write in as well. Anna Marie McLemore writes more magical realism. Um, a lot of the times it has a historical aspect to it. And I highly recommend if you haven't picked up anything by this author, you need to please, please start doing so. If you're looking to pick up more diverse authors, I would definitely recommend picking up any one of Anna Marie McLemore's books. So that is all the authors I had to talk about today. I really enjoy all of these authors for so many different reasons. Each one of them brings something new and different to the table and that's what I really really appreciate and I highly recommend you check out any of their books. I'm going to be linking their some of their most popular books down below as well as websites so thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please like subscribe and comment that would really help me out it would mean a lot to me if you just commented or liked any of my videos thank you so much for watching have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are and i will see you guys soon